What is up guys, it's your boy Chicken Job Chicken Scoop here and today I'm gonna show you guys a nice solo starter base for those wipe days where you just wanna you know get straight into the action or you just wanna stash your loot somewhere quick and easy. So um yeah let's get right into it. What you're gonna want to start out with is a nice two by three. Okay, so we're gonna build a quick two by three and this two by three will be your main living area. Okay, now here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna put roofs on both sides of the two by three. I'm going to put a wall in between. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a frame in here and it's going to help you for two reasons. The first reason is it's going to allow you to put a floor on top of here. And then that, what that floor is, it's an extra loot compartment. Now you're going to try and want to put two storage crates just peeking over the edge here so you can access them from inside once this is built up. Once that is placed, you're going to place the roof on the opposite end and you're going to place the roof here. Now placing this roof, okay, you're gonna try and do it as you're dropping down into into your main base. But now it's really tricky, so if you don't get it right, you can you can try again. But um, just continuously click as you fall down, and then it'll automatically place. Now you have two two loot crates up there for extra space, and your base is closed on top. Okay, so this is gonna be your main living area. But now what you want to do is you want an airlock. So let's close this up. And then we can actually put place a frame in here and we can place down our first door. Now once everything is semi closed up and semi secure, we can put down our necessities. Okay, now what we're gonna put down is our workbench first, our sleeping bag. Next to the sleeping bag you can place your tool cupboard. And on the opposite end, just activate that, sorry. On the opposite end, you can place two furnaces as well. Okay, and in this corner, what you can actually do is you can actually place a work, a research bench. You can actually place in this corner. In this corner, you can actually do whatever. What you can do is you can put a small crate behind your tool cupboard for extra storage. You can place um, a small farm here, another loot box. It's completely up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place another one over here, so I can still access my, my research bench and I have more place to stash stuff. So this is the main base area. What we can do is we can put on another door down. Um, yeah, so as I said, you can place more loot boxes here, small loot boxes across here so you can access this. Or you can put a small plant in here if you want, if you want to grow some food or whatever. So this is basically your main living quarters, your only living quarters. And then what you can do over here is you can actually place a trap. You can place if you if if you're willing to stay long you can place a shotgun trap up here so that your airlock is covered you can place stairs here and this is what your base looks like guys a nice airlock stairs going up shotgun trap to cover up your airlock come inside you have your sleeping bag your workbench and your tool cupboard all neatly together you have two furnaces on the one side with a box and a research bench you have some boxes behind your cupboard, and you have a box here. You can also use it as a planter. A planter. Planter, sorry. <laughs> planter. Um, also, if you have a look at the tool cupboard, it only costs you 564 stone and 64 metal frags. Per day, guys. That's, per, that's 24 hours. That's not even like a full metal. That's not even a full metal node and a full stone node. Like, I mean, come on, that's next to nothing. And this is just the starter base, just to get your your base up. This is what it looks like outside. Nice and small. Nothing too hectic. Nothing that will draw attention to you. This is how you get everything started. If you guys want to have a proper look, this is what it looks like. Not bad. We use the roofs because it's cheaper. And it covers a, a bigger space. You don't have to use so many walls. So resources is, is quick and easy to get and to upgrade. So I mean, it's not going to cost you that much to maintain. And it's just to get started, or you can use it as a as a solo base if you want to. It doesn't attract a lot of attention. But yeah, it's completely up to you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this design. If you want to see more, if you guys made changes to this design, let me know, tag me, whatever you'd like to do. Um, but yeah, I'll be dropping up some more Rust videos. So if you guys want to see it, um, drop a like on this video. Uh, we have one that we actually rated admins on the one server, and the loot was insane. But yeah, that video will be coming out tomorrow, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, I'll catch you again later. Peace.